Hi, my name is Mrs. Martin and I am a teacher at Cyrie Elementary. And today I'm joined by my son Eli. Hello. And he's going to help us as we are learning about what is matter. So Eli, what is matter? Matter is everything around us. You're absolutely right. So everything that is around us is matter. It's made up of small particles of atoms that are built together to create the shapes and that we see and touch every day. So we have um, matter is defined as anything that has mass and space. And mass is the amount of matter that is in and on. So matter can exist in several different states. Eli, what are those states? It can be solids, liquids, and gases. Exactly. And those states can change from one to the other. For instance, if we thought about water, water in a frozen state would be... Solid. Exactly. And if I leave it out and it melts, then it becomes a... Liquid. Exactly. And then if we were to boil that... Then it would be... A gas. Yeah, because it evaporates mm -hmm. into the air, right? Nice job. Good work. Okay, we're going to do an experiment today that is going to demonstrate how all three states work together. Cool, we're going to make bubbles. Can you tell our viewers what we need to make bubbles? We need uh, some soap, sugar, um, a bubble wand, a glass of water, one tablespoon, and uh, straws. Very good. So for the first part of ours, we're only going to need the soap and we're going to need some water. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to, you can, you can use straws, you can use pipe cleaners to make yourself a bubble wand, or you maybe have a bubble wand around. So to start with, we're just going to go ahead and mix the soap and the water. <clears throat> and part of this experiment is to see what makes the best solution. So you're gonna play with your soap to water ratio and mix it up and see what would make the best bubbles. So Eli's just dumped in some soap into, we have a half a cup of water here, mm -hmm. and we're gonna use the straw just to kinda mix it up a little bit. And super, so Eli, you've been and mixed your solution, mm -hmm. and I want you to go ahead and try to blow a bubble. Okay. Nice job. So Eli just used um, pipe cleaners, but you could also use, you could use a straw Whoa. to blow some bubbles as well. And um, these are just some coffee straws that I got. And so Eli, you want to try that coffee straw and I'm going to try this one. This one has two little holes in it. Ooh, mine came out like, Whoa. mine came out like lots of little bubbles. Nice. So um, you can continue to experiment with your solution by adding in some more um, soap and just changing that soap to water ratio. Um, but Eli, can you tell me what are the different states of matter that are in a bubble? So uh, the soap and the water are both liquids, but they're trapping air inside of the bubble and the, the air is a gas. Nice. Good job. Okay, so the other thing that you can do is if you were in certain places and the temperature was really, really cold, you could freeze a bubble. And if you freeze a bubble, then what happens to that bubble now? Now it is a... And now it's a solid. Exactly. Good job. And in some places, um, they can do that, like in Alaska and things like that. Some questions for at home that I have is, can you change your solution so that you can make those bubbles even better and what happens if you add more soap or more water so you can try both of those things out but Eli I have a challenge for you and you haven't done this before but I would like for you to add a tablespoon of sugar and here I have some sugar just regular sugar that we put in our coffee and we're gonna add a tablespoon of that to about two-thirds um, cup of your solution so dump that in and then sugar um, usually needs to dissolve. And so, so nice. this may not work right away. But we're going to stir this. And we had tested out our bubbles, and they were pretty good, weren't they? Yeah. Okay. But it can even be better. Exactly. So I want you to test this out and see what you think. I want you to, you can use the wand or you can use a straw. What okay. do you think? Do you think that our bubbles are even better now? Whoa. They are because they stay in the air longer. Ah, so they seem a little bit stronger. So my question to you is, 
how does that sugar change the structure of the bubble so that it might even be stronger? Or did you find that it wasn't stronger? Did you find that it was actually weaker? So, okay, so thank you so much for joining us. Um, we've had a lot of fun. We're learning about changes in matter and understanding what is matter, mm -hmm. that matter is? Solids, liquids, and gases. Okay, and matter is everything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so matter is all around us. And we look forward to seeing you join us again. Um, we have some really cool experiments lined up for you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.